The advice to pregnant and soon to be pregnant women is simple and evidence-based. Take your prenatals. The science behind that advice, however, remains a work in progress with even one of the foundational components of prenatal vitamins, folic acid, stubbornly withholding some of its secrets from the researchers who study it. We start here with Celinda Garza, who has a master's degree in chemistry from UT. She's 36 weeks pregnant with her second child. With my first pregnancy, um, we had tried actually to get pregnant for about six months, and I read pretty much every book and every internet site about things to do and not to do, knowing, you know, that I wanted my body in the best condition possible when I did conceive. So her first pregnancy was complicated by severe preeclampsia, uh, which precipitated a delivery at 34 weeks. And she had Dr. Kimberly Carter is an obstetrician with University of Texas Physicians. Her job is to take the research on prenatal vitamins and translate that into usable advice for her patients. So we're always worried about the health of the mother because the baby, there's a there's face. A face. <laughs> the baby never does well without mom doing well. They, they are not separable. There's your spine. You've got rib shadows over here. Heart right here. But in the first trimester, you're making organs. And so we really want to get the organs off to a good start. What we want to do is is hit those vitamins in the first trimester that are most associated with organogenesis, making of the organs like the heart and the spinal cord and the brain. And folic acid is the most popular and famous of that. And for that reason, our public health sector has decided to fortify cereals and other foods with folic acid so that since in our society over 50% of our pregnancies are unplanned and we're not fortifying ourselves with vitamins before pregnancy, even in the best case scenario, however, when a woman is taking vitamins in the months leading up to conception, defects occur. Rick Fennell, a geneticist at the Dell Pediatric Research Institute, is studying one particular aspect of this problem. Why are some women unable to absorb folic acid in the quantities necessary to protect against neural tube defects? We have genetic regulation of cell activities. And we also have a whole other level of control called epigenetics where you're not actually changing the DNA, the A's and G's and C's and T's, but you are turning genes on and turning genes off by providing methyl groups. And folic acid is the key source of methyl groups for um, our physiology and metabolism. We know now that we need to include a certain amount of supplement of fol folic acid in the uh, prenatal dietary vitamin mineral to be able to enhance and reduce the risk of adverse pregnancy outcomes like anencephaly or spina bifida, these neural tube defects. Michelle Foreman is an epidemiologist at the university. She's working on a first-of-its-kind database of the ingredients in prenatal vitamins. Among the things she's found is that the dosages of folic acid vary significantly from one vitamin to the next, and those differences may have consequences. We have to be careful though there as well, because here's where too little isn't good and too much isn't good. 30% of people are not folate responsive, meaning that in terms of <clears throat> deriving the benefit for neural tube closure, they're not, they could take folic acid and not you know, be protected. So we wanna know how it works and how to make it work specifically in populations that really need it. Hispanic, Latino populations have the highest rates. They don't seem to derive the same benefits. Let's figure that out and, and then make it work for everyone. I would say that for most women in general, if you're otherwise healthy and you have no underlying medical conditions, you've never had a history of preterm delivery, you don't have some kind of wacky bleeding disorder. I mean, th these are conversations to have with your OB-GYN, but you'll do fine if you take almost any prenatal vitamin. Because it's very difficult to refine this without more basic understanding like my lab's trying to develop, we have to take what approach works. Giving folic acid, it works. We'll figure out just how it works next week, next month, next year.